I'm here at Abstract Gallery with Kennedy Yanko, and Kennedy, believe it or not, started painting at the ripe old age of four, and now she's so much older, at the age of 20, she has a solo show here called Wu Wei. So of course, the first question, what is Wu Wei? Um, Wu Wei is um, a way that we decided to coin this, this process that I've been going through of allowing the paint to do what it's going to do and to kind of succumb to the artist's binge and just, you know, be okay with not being able to paint and then when I can paint to allow the paint to what it's going to, to, to let it do what it's going to do and, and to allow it to, um, you know, create itself and, and play with it. Okay, so let's get into some specifics here. I saw a quote that you referred to the way you're painting as joyful surrender. Which, is that related to what you were just talking about? Well, it's a way that we, we're going to try to describe it, but it's, it, it, that's exactly it. It's, it's, it's playing with it. You know, it's not getting caught up in what the final product's going to be like, but it's, it's having fun in the process of creating it. So take me through a little bit of the process. In fact, you know, for a piece this size behind us, this is a large piece. Mm -hmm. What kind of process do you go through when you've got this huge canvas, big white canvas sitting in front of you? Uh, you know, how do you figure out where everything's going to go and what's going to happen? This piece is actually has got some age on it. Um, it's a more interesting one than um, a lot of them. But in general, um, it, there's about five layers of different paintings under each canvas. And... Um, it usually starts and begins with the color scheme. So I'll look at my palette, pick out what colors I have, what I can choose from, and then I play with it. And for this one, it's been about four years with you know the gray and the white and the yellow, and I just move it around, moving with the textures and the composition and the colors. And so over time, and how much time would it take to for you to complete a painting like this? Do you let it sit for a while and come back to it? Sometimes I'll let it sit. Sometimes I'll do it all in, you know, an hour, or a few days, you know, one day coming back and forth to it. And this one was about three years. Okay, so I have to ask you, just, would that suggest that there's almost another painting under this if you've added so many layers of paint? There's actually, the, the beginning painting of this is on my website. I've shown it before. And um, there's about four other paintings under it. So That's a very cool idea. So your, your paintings literally evolve with age. Yeah. <laughs> you also have some paintings in here that have some texture on them. Talk a little bit about that technique and how you ended up doing those textured paintings. Um, again, with the age, it, they all, all the paintings have kind of evolved. And you can, I think that sometimes you can see where the texture comes from. Those I did when I was out in San Francisco, and I was working with a little bit before then. But texture has always been a very big thing for me because I feel that it engulfs you and makes you want to touch it. And um, these textures, they were made from a gauze and a tissue paper. Um, and they, you know, it, it evolved into finding textures and experimentation within the paint and how that can be created by the, the levels of the paint, the different stratas that are collected in the paint. At such a young age of 20, having shown, I think, the first time at age 15? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the was, advanced age of 15. Show. It was a small show. It was fun. <laughs> What do you think you're going to be moving into next? Because obviously you've got years and years and years ahead of you to do an incredibly large amount of art. Is there anything that's kind of really impressed you or influenced you lately that you think you might be moving forward with and with your painting in the near future? Um, well, as far as as a career, um, I have been. I, I feel that I've been very freed from the expectations of of trying to create a product for a show. So. With that, I can play with my work now. I went through a stage where I was, you know, thinking about the client, thinking about the gallery, thinking about what they want, and the work was terribly affected by that. And now I've found a place where um, I can play and I can do what I want and try new things. And my next step is actually moving the paint away from the canvas and working with it. So maybe you guys might get a taste of the pieces ready at the opening or not, but we'll see. She's being mysterious now to try to get everybody to come. Well, it's, it, I love the work. I love the freedom. You really do feel the freedom because of, it's, to, it's obvious that you've basically frozen flowing paint on these, which is great. It's like a moment in time has just been frozen, but it, it's, it just gives a sense of freedom to look at it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.